Now, here's how you can and should use table feature of your calculator when you're making graphs, especially when you're making trigonometric graphs for be it O-level math or AS-level math. Anyway, so here's a question which I should mention is from May 2018, paper one, variant two. You can see here it says it is given that y is equal to one plus tan three x and you're supposed to find the period. So that's pretty simple. All you gotta do is since we know that the natural period of tan is 180, so we'll just take 180 and divide by three. So that's equal to 60 degrees. Now, then it says here on the axis below, sketch the graph of y equals to one plus tan three x for zero to 180. Okay. Now I have both these calculators here and I'm gonna show them to you how you can uh, not plot graphs, but yeah, find the corresponding values and uh, with the help of which you'll be able to plot them and you'll get them right exactly. Um, and you don't have to worry about whether it's, uh, I mean, you, you don't have to worry, manually find out the values, the calculator will do it for you. So here's what you do, you press the menu key and then you navigate to where you see table. So in this you'll see at nine and in this you press the mode and then you see table at seven. So you press seven here. Now the good thing about this calculator is the the one that I, uh, the one uh, the class with calculator is that you can plot two graphs here. No, again, not plot, but you can find out the corresponding x and y values of two graphs here. Whereas in this one, you can just do one. Anyway, so the graph that we want to plot right now is, as you can see, one plus three tan x. So I'll type in just that one plus uh, tan three x. Sorry, I think I said three tan x. So it's tan three, and then alpha x. Oops, sorry, not y alpha x and then close the bracket and then i'm going to do exactly the same thing over here one plus tan three alpha x close the bracket okay now you press the equals to sign here so now it's asking for g of x so we ignore that and then it's asking you for the start the end and the step now i made a detailed post of this on my instagram channel oh, sorry on my instagram page and if you haven't seen it so i'd suggest you check it out so that you know how exactly do we work out the step and how exactly do we work out the period of sine, cos, and tan? But for now, uh, we can see that the starting value is zero. So I'll write zero here, press equals to. And then we're gonna do the same here also, by the way. Once you press equals to, it's asking you for the starting value. So you write zero, press equals to. And then the ending value, you can see here that it's 180 degrees. So I'm gonna do just that. One, eight, oops, sorry, one, eight. Sorry about that. Yeah, so one, eight, zero equals to and then same thing over here so we have the starting value okay zero and then the ending value is 180 press equals to now the step now, as far as tan is concerned as i mentioned earlier uh, you can you can head over to my instagram page where i've uh, made a detailed post for how you can find out the step but for now i'll just quickly tell you that the natural step that we take for tan is 45 this time we're going to take 45 divided by 3 that means we're gonna take 15. So you're looking at 15, press equals to, and then here also you punch in 15, press equals to. And then once you press equals to, that is when all the magic happens. So now you can see exactly what are the values that you're getting. Now this error here basically means that it's gonna to go towards infinity. And if you're familiar with tan graphs, you know that tan uh, goes towards infinity. We basically make something called asymptotes, which are infinite dotted lines. And now you know exactly where and how you're gonna mark the values. So you can see that we have so at 0 it's 1 at 15 it's 2 so 15 is going to be between 0 and 30 and just like that you have all the values up until 180 so make use of this feature and if you're if you're not too familiar with it you know you can practice it do it with a couple of other um, graphs also i'll try and make a video on this also on on detailed on graphs of trigonometric equations a detailed video so hopefully you can uh, learn it from there so anyway i hope this helps you in your exam and if this is something you didn't know about let me know if there's something you already knew about do let me know so yeah i'll stop here see you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye